Alright guys, so kicking off this um, tutorial, I uh, primed all of the infantry with grey primer from Vallejo and then um, also airbrushed the sand yellow model air colour on top <clears throat> um, and I did this prior to starting this video so what I've just done there is I've got the uh, bone white colour and I've uh, airbrushed that as well but from above to create a bit of xenophil light and then to um, exaggerate that effect I'm doing a dry brush using the same colour, the bone white <clears throat> brushing from the top going down the, uh, the mini which is a little tricky to do because it's such a tiny tiny um, little piece um, I actually had already painted all the rest of the infantry it's much easier to do this in blocks you know blue tack each of the infantry onto their stand and then just paint them from that point of view but I uh, left one unpainted so I could do this video so here I'm doing the same thing again <clears throat> a bit lighter but with a, a white paint because these are such such tiny miniatures they really need that sort of um, contrast to, them, to make them pop but they're also really easy to paint I mean I, I practically did the rest of them in about the same amount of time it took me to do this one So next is using the uh, Model Air Chrome colour and just picking out the silver parts. Um, and really, in terms of these miniatures, that was basically the gun and there's a, um, a pipe from the back of the uh, helmet going into a backpack and they were the only pieces I touched. <laughs> As you see I'm shaking a bit trying to do this, it was uh, very tricky to do, paint this in front of the, um, the camera. But I got there in the end. This uh, paint job here is pretty much a no frills one. You'll notice I don't paint any of the um, cloth armour underneath the armour plates black like the studio schemes are. Um, to be honest they're so small I really didn't think that extra step was necessary. I figured out I, I would do them this way and they would look good just as they are. But you could if you wanted to go back, go in and you know hand paint all the, the black parts and then paint the armour on top. or use a wash to get the same effect but generally I don't think you need it. I think these came out really good as you can see at the end. So there's the, uh, the pipe at the back of the head there. And that's it really. At this point I painted around the base with a, a black paint um, so that uh, these will blend in with the bases that we'll see at the end of this video and how I did them, so I just figured I'd paint it an hour before I did the oil wash. I do apologise for the dark footage here, it was really tricky to sort of hold this miniature in, in such a way that I could uh, paint the base and also show you guys. But you get the general idea, I'm just going around making sure not to get the black paint on the feet. So, so far. Next I'm going to use a gloss varnish to protect it and to allow the wash to flow better around the miniature. So I'm just using the airbrush here to just quickly apply a, a nice shiny gloss coat. So you can easily see that um, you know doing this one at a time would take a very long time but you can easily do these in batches as I said the the four stands worth of infantry I did basically took about the same amount of time as this because it was very easy to just quickly airbrush each consecutive thing and dry brush each miniature one after the other rather than in this case doing one and having to clean brushes and you know change colours and stuff very frequently. So here I'm using the same oil wash I used on the dropships and the tanks, it's just a thinned black in fact, actually, it's not the same. This is just black in this case. Uh, there's no brown oil 
added to it. But I'm just uh, yeah, thinned it with white spirits and I'm just literally slopping it all over it. As you can see, and then I'm going to take that away, dry it into a hairdryer, and use a cotton bud soaked in the white spirits and just wipe away any of the um, excess wash places we don't want, especially near the top of the miniature where you know all those bright highlights should be from the uh, the initial dry brush. I kind of wanted them to come back out. Maybe you can see the, the the wash really helps make these little miniatures pop. And as I said before, you could have painted the black clothing underneath the armor plates. And uh, but to be honest, the, the wash practically fills in most of those gaps. And I really didn't want to have to spend that long painting each individual miniature because at this scale, you know, you just want them to look good and pop from a distance. You know, they don't need to look amazing up close, especially when there's five per stand. It's kind of but there we have it, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that result. So on to the base, um, you can see there that it was, it was painted a sand yellow colour there it's because I was using it to paint you know, the, all of them in batches, so that got the same sort of airbrush work that the, um, the infantry got. But I'm going over all that now in a black paint. I was going to try and you know, just glue on sand or some you know, general sort of base like that, but I decided, you know what, at this scale, that's not going to quite look right, the, the sand, unless you get a really fine sand. And secondly, these are meant to be, you know, drop zone commanders all about in the city and, you know, on roads and stuff. So I didn't want to do a sort of fieldy, grassy type base. So I said I opted to just try and to just literally paint an effect on here. So I use black, and then um, I'm, as you can see here, I'm airbrushing lighter grey. This was a uh, black grey I was using from a uh, model colour. Billy hose range, um, just sort of airbrushing in the gaps are a nice grey, so I'm trying to get a tarmac effect. I added a few drops of white to the mixture whilst it's still in my airbrush just to you know highlight it a bit more. So that's that stage done. Now it, I'm basically going to stipple on with a, um, a nasty old brush, uh, some black paint, and uh, after the black paint, some black and grey paint, and this will give us our kind of tarmac texture which I think came out really nice check here is to just try not to overdo it because you'll just you know completely destroyed any of that sort of shade you just did with the airbrush I still kind of wanted those that kind of gradient visible through these specs Here's the black grey. That should tone down some of the uh, the darker or the bigger black splodges and sort of mix everything together. To really sell it as tarmac, I decided to go one step further after this and mask off um, some stripes basically so that we can add some sort of road markings to the uh, to the base to really sort of give it that urban look. I used um, Tamiya's masking tape for this. So it works really nice on models. It's, it's designed to not pull up paint you, you know, straight off the roll. You don't need to sort of like um, stick it on your hand or anything to get some of the, the glue off. I'm just using a, a white here and I've literally just put the white paint directly into the airbrush, no thinner, just so it'll come out and stick and just cover, you know, straight away in one coat. So as you can see it's a bit stark so I'm going back over with the stippling and I'm using the same the black and the, and the black grey paint just to sort of tie these um, these stripes back into the base you know weather them a bit. So I think it looks quite nice. So finally, just need to assemble it. So I'm going to put some super glue in each of the um, the recesses, ready to receive each of the infantry models. 
and then after sticking them down um, I would matte varnish everything just to protect all the paintwork and lock in the oil wash. Here's some of the other uh, pre-painted infantry that I had left over. I made sure as well that each base had the same um, selection of infantry models but I positioned them in different ways and also made sure two of the, the bases had three guys up front and two behind and the other two had the uh, two guys up front, uh, sorry, three guys up front. Well, you get the idea. One was one way, one was zero. So there we have it, the finished miniatures. See, I went, I did uh, the stripes in different directions on, on each of the base just to separate them a bit. But I'm really happy with the way these came out. They were a lot of fun to paint. Um, I could quite happily paint hundreds of these, I think, because um, you know they're, they're very quick. But they came out really nice. So if anyone's got any comments or questions, put them down below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, like if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video with your friends. That'll be great. Thanks. Till next time.